So here are the parts right here. The Xbox, pump, radiator. <clears throat> My goal for tonight is to get this pump, get this fan. Uh, I'm going to solder the harnesses together so it's a little bit cleaner. I'm going to solder this extra Molex connector that I have, 4 pin, to the motherboard. I'm going to take it apart, take off the motherboard, flip it over, and I'm going to solder everything together and get these two things here running. <clears throat> Just take a look real quick. This fan right here, it's going to be... It looks like it's going to have to be mounted like that. And then this little recessed area right here is going to go around the USB terminal right there. So it should fit on like that. The pump... I'm going to remove this entire fan right here and remove th that entire grill and this pump will probably go, you know, I don't know, something like this maybe. It'll probably be like that. Reservoir will probably just go like this. Alright, I just removed all of the bolts the eject button and this entire this is going to be the case that we're going to be cutting up right here so everything is removed here are the contact points that we're going to use uh, soldering iron is nice and hot so this is how it's going to be done pin one two and three those are the grounds uh, these three right here, and then the ones underneath that four, five, and six are 12 volt. The 12 volt will be the yellow, the grounds are black, and then pin number eight is a five volt, and I think that's a switched five volt, so um, that would be perfect for LEDs and whatever. Um, and also, the five volt on here is the red. So here's everything soldered up. Okay, first test. Everything's hooked up temporarily. Um, we're just gonna power this up and see if it starts. Fans are spinning. Everything's still good to go. All right, moment of truth right here. We got. The fans back here hooked up, just sitting here, and then we got the radiator, fan, the intercooler, and the pump. Let's see if it turns on. There we go. The radiator fan, water pump. Now I'm going to start hard wiring everything. Uh, I already cut off um, the harness for the pump. The pump is 12 volts. This is going to be hooked to the yellow and the ground wire off of the Molex. And here we have the uh, the 12 volt yellow wire and the ground wire, which is we're going to hook these up together in parallel. And once they're hooked up, then we're going to hook up, hook them up to this and try to clean everything up with some electrical tape or something like that. So there you go, everything is hardwired together right there. You have the uh, 12 volt and the ground. Alright, um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm thinking of taking a bunch of these extra fat lace and illa stickers here that I have and just covering this entire front face plate with it. <clears throat> so this is what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to trim all of this stuff off.
now it's really flush. So I just finished stickering up a bunch of this stuff on the Xbox. I got the Pedal Bear Fat Lace. This is the front cover, so it'll be like that. Um, USB port, I'm going to leave it alone for now. And then I got the reservoir cover, or the reservoir brackets. These were starting to rust up because they've been sitting in my room for, I think, half a year. So this kind of worked out well. I'm going to gonna be uh, leaving it alone for now. And I got the reservoir, the fat lace coolants. Okay, so I just finished applying the stickers to the DVD drive. Okay, to remove these uh, clamps here, um, you really got to get something to pry it. Um, as you can see, the bolts here have a little hook with the clamps, and they kind of clamp on like that. And there really is no way around it. You have to damage these. You have to bend these in order to get it off. Okay, so we removed both of the clamps, and this right here is the processor, I believe because uh, all the capacitors are right here and when you remove it you can pretty much get rid of this or keep it just in case you know as a backup but you're going to have to clean up everything on this processor there's some uh... uh... what do you call it? what do you call it uh... thermal grease now it's time to add some some thermal thermal paste on here so now again just like with the regular computer the trick is not to flood the entire thing with paste. You want it to be just enough to skim everything. If you want, you can kind of spread it out with something. Maybe I'll use the plastic cover for this. and try to get off as much of the excess as you can there you go we're gonna put this block on here so what you do is you tighten here 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 and then here 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 the reason why you do that is you torque everything down equally on all sides instead of it being tighter on one side and not as tight on the other. I have two fittings that I need to put on this thing. Two barbs. These are 3 8 inch I believe. I'm not going to tighten it too much right now because it is definitely going to uh, get stuck on here.